In this problem, we're told that a sports car accelerates from rest to 95 kilometers per hour in 4.5 seconds. And then we're asked to find what its average acceleration is in meters per second squared. So before we solve this problem, let's write down what we're given in the problem. So first off, we're told that a sports car accelerates from rest. So if it's at rest, uh, that means it's going to be traveling zero meters per second. And this is starting from it. So it starts at rest. So our initial velocity, which we represent by v sub zero, is going to be zero meters per second because they tell us it starts from rest which just ba just basically means its initial velocity is going to be zero and then it goes all the way to 95 kilometers per hour so its final velocity which we represent by v is just going to be 95 kilometers per hour and so they tell us we start from this we start from zero we go to 95 and the amount of time we do this in is 4.5 seconds so we represent that by t so t equals 4.5 seconds so this is what we're given uh, we're trying to find the average acceleration in meters per second squared so a equals uh, question mark because we don't really know what it is we're trying to find it in meters per second squared and so now we've got everything that we're given laid out and we have these equations here and we're going to use one of them but there's something that we have to do first so what we need to do is or what you should notice is that our acceleration is in meters per second squared and our velocity is in kilometers per hour and so our time is also in seconds, but we need to change the velocity into meters per second because we need to make sure that all of our units line up and that they're the same. So this is kilometers, this is in meters, and this is in hours, and this is seconds. And so they don't line up, so we have to change this to meters per second. So let's go ahead and do that. So 95 kilometers per hour. So we know that there's a 1,000 meters in every single kilometer. So you write it like this, 1,000 over 1. Uh, and that'll cancel the kilometers, but we still have the hour, so we got to get rid of that. So we know that there's one hour in 60 minutes, and that for every one minute, there's 60 seconds. So we see our hour cancels, and then our minute cancels. So in order to convert 95 kilometers per hour to 90 or to uh, meters per second, you just got to multiply it by a thousand, then times one over 60, then times one over 60. So if you go ahead and do that, 95 times 1,000, and then basically the same as dividing by 3,600, you're going to get 26.3888, and then you can round to uh, you can round this to a nine. And so now you've got it like this. Uh, this is going to be in meters per second. So let's just write velocity equals 26.389 meters per second so all we did was change it from kilometers per hour into meters per second so now we've got this laid out all we have to do is decide which equation to use and then we're going to do that based on what we're given so if you look at all our, uh, these equations you notice that two three and four all contain delta x which is a position and like a change in like um, like a unit like meters so we're not given that right we're only given uh, initial velocity velocity and time and so since we don't have this, we're not going to use any of these three. But if you look at the top one, we're given everything inside of it. We're given V, we're given V sub zero, we're given T, and then we're solving for acceleration. So we're going to use the top equation. So all we got to do is plug everything in. So V, which is 26.389 equals V sub zero, which is zero, plus A, which we're trying to find. So we just plug in A, times T, which is 4.5. So it's just going to be 26.389 equals 4.5a. So in order to get a by itself, divide by 4.5. So a is going to be equal to 26.389 divided by 4.5. And you should get 5.864. And so we can round however you want. I'm going to round to the tenths place. So this 6 is going to make this become a 9. So 5.9. And then keep in mind the units that we're using, meters per second squared. So 5.9 meters per second squared. So this right here is going to be your answer to this problem.